Hi everyone. Uh, hope you're enjoying the Miss Summit so far. Uh, I'm Alexander. This is Pete. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Alexander. This is Pete. Uh, Pete is uh, in, this, uh, in charge on designing new integrations for our uh, platform, and I'm leading the integrations team. Uh, we're coming from Eclectic IQ. And before we delve into the boring stuff, uh, I would like to uh, share a small story about uh, a documentary I watched a couple of days ago, actually. Uh, I had a different story, so... <laughs> uh, in Can you please remove yourself? Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, in, the, in the deserts of Israel, uh, uh, scientists noticed a very unusual thing. Uh, striped hyenas and gray wolves were hunting together in packs, mixed packs. Uh, this is very, very uh, unusual because predators, especially in harsh environments, prefer to chase each other out. Uh, so they followed them and followed them, and they figured out what was going on. Uh, see, striped uh, uh, hyenas are really not uh, predators per se. They're more scavengers. They hunt only 5 to 10% of their prey. Uh, so, they're not really equipped at, uh, at hunting, unlike wolves. But then again, wolves don't have their superior sense of smell that, that, that uh, uh, hyenas can do, and they have really strong jaws, so they can break through bones and expose more meat. So, they started hunting together. Compared to other, uh, to, to other uh, predators in the area, their numbers have skyrocketed, and... That shows that cooperation in, in nature uh, really wor works well together. We are here because we also believe in cooperation in threat intelligence. And let me just share a couple of words about our company. Uh, we are a cyber threat intelligence company based in Amsterdam. Uh, we are developing an analyst-centric threat intelligence platform uh, that is uh, focused on uh, allowing our users to... Uh, to uh, match their needs, and their current threats that they face in the most efficient way. And now I'll let Pete uh, give you a small tour of our, our platform. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so, hello. Uh, welcome. Um, so, I'm sure many of you know what MISP is, because you're here. Um, but you don't know who we are or what we do. So, our platform is a threat intelligence platform, or a tip. Uh, what we do is help manage, support uh, the aggregation, analysis, and simulation of threat intelligence. Uh, one of the ways we achieve this is using structured intelligence. So we are big fans of structured intelligence, um, and we base our internal data model on STIX. STIX allows us to create a, a consistent way for our users to uh, use and create uh, contextual intelligence that can later be actioned or shared with whoever they want. So, um, just a little bit more on our actual platform to understand how this integrates with MISP. Uh, so, supporting intelligence needs, you have aggregation. So, we have incoming feeds into our platform. Uh, we have taxonomies and tagging rules for classification. Uh, we use dynamic data sets that help store intelligence and cluster it. Uh, analysis, we contain an interactive graph. Um, allows you to pivot uh, for related intelligence. Uh, we have riches, complex searches, and then you can disseminate this intelligence finally uh, once you're done with analysis and production. Um, so uh, enough about our platform. Uh, we'll get into uh, what we, how we integrate with MISP and what it can actually do. Okay. So for all uh, 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 the known reasons you are here probably. Uh, we like MISP primarily because of, the, the, of uh, its support for uh, uh, exchange of structured intelligence between organizations. It has a very low barrier of entry given that it's uh, free and open source. So, so uh, organizations can dip their toes into uh, cyber threat intelligence share instead of uh, uh, just sharing files like they used to. So uh, MISP enabled all that. Uh, also, MISP obviously has a, a large and active community uh, that constantly brings new features that uh, uh, help uh, in sharing intelligence. Uh, so, for these reasons, we decided to uh, enable our 
users to collaborate and take advantage of the MISP platform and as well the MISP community itself uh, to uh, uh, benefit some, something uh, from our unique uh, propositions. Uh, what we mean by that is to expose our curated data and the integrations portfolio to the MISP ecosystem, uh, while at the same time utilize the sharing uh, capabilities of MISP and provide it to, to our customers. So, we, for, for that reason, created the Eclectic IQ uh, MISP extension. It began like very, very simple, like as an enricher for, for uh, uh, enriching IOCs on our platform. Uh, and uh, pulling, pulling uh, uh, related events from, from uh, uh, shared uh, mis uh, uh, organizations. Uh, we then extended that and created an actual incoming feed that con constantly ingests the data, creates local cor correlations, and that sort of thing. Uh, but we also wanted to give something back to the community, and for that reason, we created the outgoing feed which uh, now uh, also supports actually sending back the data after you probably analyze it through our platform or uh, the data that is already uh, in our platform uh, can be shared with the MISP community. Finally, we added support for MISP JSON, so if, even if you cannot connect our platforms uh, uh, for network reasons, uh, paranoid <laughs> CISOs and that sort of thing, you can still do a, a classic uh, file exchange. So this is what we came up with. Uh, on the left side, you can see uh, a typical representation of, of an event, actually it's attributes and MISP. And on the right side, how it actually looks once it comes into our platform. Uh, by default, every MISP event is turned into an incident in our platform. That's our current mapping. And uh, every, every of its attributes is turned into an uh, in, uh, indicator uh, observable pair. Uh, however, uh, this works both ways. So if you update one or uh, update on one on a, uh, event on our platform, it will be reflected back to MISP and vice versa. However, there are certain limitations when, we, when uh, it comes to uh, sending the data from our platform uh, back to MISP. Uh, uh, our outgoing feed at the moment does not support MISP galaxies or uh, uh, complex MISP attributes. So while you can ingest uh, uh, reports and uh, TTPs and, and threat actors, you still cannot send them back from, from our platform. We're working on that part. Uh, we also don't support uh, uh, deletion of uh, entities. Uh, we are also working on that part, and I'll get be, uh, uh, back to, uh, to that a bit later. And there is one uh, small particular uh, thing with, with, the, with the current integration. Every event that comes from our platform has an additional uh, uh, text attribute that holds a small piece of metadata that helps us track uh, event versions. So if you connect uh, one MISP uh, instance and another MISP instance, we still know that it's the same event and uh, it uh, actually uh, targets the same entity. And now uh, I'll let it give you a, a small run of a most common use case that we see our customers uh, have. So uh, one of the, sort of the main use cases we see our customers having is taking incoming MISP data, uh, pushing that to the Eclectic IQ platform, enriching it using our knowledge base, and then pushing it back to MISP, and then they can share this with the wider MISP community. So, um, so I just want to start off. So imagine an analyst um, has just received an ongoing incident uh, from one of his MISP feeds, um, and this is currently what it looks like. Um, they then decide they want to uh, search for related set intelligence. So they look within their MISP knowledge base and they can't find anything. So they decide to, to uh, pull it into the Eclectic IQ platform um, to see what they can find. Um, and then this is what that uh, incident would look like. So uh, the event would be represented as an incident object. You've got the attributes as indicators. Uh, or a report, depending on the attribute type. Um, and then you have the galaxies uh, re represented as a fractal entity and uh, TTP entities. So uh, this analyst decided to set up automated uh, enrichment rules. So if we look at the top, the uh, indicator extract would be enriched straight away once it's ingested. Um, this would create an indicator. Um, and in this case, they found a, a related hash. Um, and uh, what they do, uh, they decide to 
Cheers, thank you. <laughs> uh, they decide to pivot off the related hash um, and they find an existing hash within uh, the tip. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, and awesome, right. So now they find, uh, they pivot off the existing hash and they find a, a malware TTP. And then this malware TTP has, uh, already has related intelligence to it. Um, so what they do, they decide to uh, relate this intelligence back to the, the existing event, which they then can push back to MISP. Next slide. Thank you. Um, and then this is what it would look like in MISP. Um, and as you can see, the highlighted, uh, these are the new indicators um, in the event. Um, yeah. And we see this as a, as a repeatable process. So um, as incoming data comes into MISP, they may just... They can then decide to push it into our platform, push it back out into MISP, and then share it with whoever you know, whoever communities they want. Cool. Uh, I'll just put it over to Alex. He'll tell you uh, the future of integration and hopefully some stuff we may support in the future. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are planning to add entity deletion to, to, to our system using the soft delete feature. Uh, we are heavily uh, investigating uh, support for custom taxonomies to allow our customers to actually set up their own mappings, their own taxonomies, uh, however they, 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 they like to, to set up their work for, uh, workflow. Uh, we are definitely uh, adding more uh, attribute types, support for more attribute types, and uh, trying to uh, expand the support for MISP galaxies. Uh, we want to improve the outgoing feed so it uh, has the feature parity with our, with our income feed so you know there, there, there's not this so you can you can ingest the threat actor but you cannot send it uh, and we are also working on updating the configuration process so instead of setting the incoming feed and the outgoing feed uh, there's a possibility of human error when you when you set everything up how, how, how to uh, how things should work uh, we want to track like actual uh, entities that came uh, directly in the incoming feed without you having to create a, a data set, everything connects automatically, that sort of thing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to see more about this integration, uh, you can check the link above, or you can check our other integrations that, that, that can be uh, inserted from, from our platform. Uh, you can see our open source projects on, on GitHub. Uh, one of them is uh, Open Taxi that has already been used by, by uh, MISP. And if you have some questions, we're here to answer. <laughs> Yes. So one of the things that comes up very often as a question is, uh, what other tools do we integrate with and, and how good is the integration? So one of the things that I'm wondering is, do you have an exhaustive list of how you've map mapped each individual data point between the two tools? Because that would be very interesting for us. We are actually building at the moment uh, our integrations catalog. We don't have it to that, to that level. We have a list of all the integrations we support. Uh, we are actively working on our documentation. We'll, we cannot promise the, the dates, but we want to add, uh, uh, if nothing else, just the mappings so that analysts can uh, know what to expect when they, oh, I want to use this, uh, this integration. Let me see what will, what, what will I get in the platform. Thank you. Um, I was I was wondering. Uh, to my understanding, Eclectic also allows you to share fur with with different people in your Eclectic community or trust community. Is that correct? Well, uh, yeah. it's not like uh, our okay. Okay, then I misunderstood uh, before because I had a question in relation to distribution, how it went, but it's not relevant well, if it's. You can connect multiple uh, instances uh, or our, our instances and share be between them, but it's up on, on our customers to set up the, 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 their system. What you can do is uh, put data from uh, MISP into our platform, then to send it to another MISP instance, then to, an, to our platform. This is the, the, the tracking <laughs> attribute that I uh, mentioned. Okay. Um, just a stupid question. I know I was ranting a little bit earlier about uh, XML and 6.1, um, but I, I do know that you guys support 6.1, and what I think sticks compliant was on your first slide. And, and I have, on a number of occasions, successfully exported uh, an event from MISP and imported it into 
eclectic IQ and, and vice versa. I'm, I'm wondering, have you considered instead of doing an, e, an ETL and a data mapping between internal data models, possibly using sticks as an interchange format, which might save a bit of work? Uh, yes, it would, uh, but uh, I think that our first integration with this actually went through, through Styx uh, 1.2, if I remember correctly. That was before I joined Eclectic IQ, so I don't really have full uh, uh, historical knowledge. Uh, I think that our customers complained on the way uh, how uh, how it's uh, uh, how uh, events are exported, like in Styx format from MISP, versus how we expect them uh, in, in our platform. Maybe Stix2 will, will solve that. We haven't still tried. We are working uh, on adding support for Stix2 at the moment. Uh, unfor unfortunately, uh, multiple uh, clients expect different mapping, even in the Stix uh, uh, world. In ideal world, yeah, we would we'll all use one format, and one transport, and everything will be fine. Anything else? Well, oh. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's on. on uh, uh, we, we provide uh, uh, integrations based on uh, customer uh, contract basis. So uh, I think if they select this, yeah, they can, everybody can get it. It's, uh, it's available, but I don't know the, the sales model. I'm a, a lowly software guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, we at the moment export them pretty much like like events like a, a, a incident that is connected to an incident that also has a, also spreads like like uh, like a incident. Uh, we are also I forgot to edit. <laughs> we actually actually want to add more support for for uh, for objects. So we we can actually update them, but it's like still this. Uh, you have a, a one governing entity, and you have an incident uh, indicator observable. Yes. Something quick on that regard is, uh, is I, I don't know how long you guys are here for on, on during the week, but maybe if you have time, we could sit down and actually plan that a little bit ahead and just to see how we can map it. Ah, okay. Uh, but, I mean, well, we, we wanted, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I think we spoke once uh, 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 to kind of connect over some uh, WhatsApp groups or, uh, and, and things of, of that nature, and that was handed over to our marketing department. That was a well, partnership management department, and that I think I died, died off. But I would be very interested in. I mean, we, yeah, yeah. Well, we we are planning to 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 make uh, one major update to to, to the extension this uh, uh, this fall. So you know, it would uh, any input would be. Well, thank you. Hope you.